You and I might call Sue Payne a modern-day Thomas Payne, but with a few obvious differences. Tom was a brave man who wrote pamphlets explaining the need for our revolution. Sue is a brave woman and a weekend talk show host on Baltimore's WCBM who heard firsthand what President Obama has planned for illegals in this country, and that could spark a second revolution. With a rhetorical hat tip to Selwyn Duke for a recent column at AmericanThinker.com, let's listen to what Sue Payne told our friend Mark Levin on his nationally syndicated radio show after she gained access to three conference calls conducted by the president's so-called task force on new Americans. As you're about to hear, that group should really be called the strike force for immediate amnesty. And on these conference calls, it became clear that he's looking at 13 to 15 million to give protection and move them on to citizenship. What happened in the conference calls was there was a representative from 16, uh, each, of, each of the members of his cabinet. So there were 16 representatives there. And Cecilia Munez was on the first call. Now, you need to know that Cecilia Munoz is the president's point person on amnesty. She joined the administration from La Raza, or in English, the race, a radical a Hispanic group calling for Reconquista, the reconquering of the land America gained after winning our war with Mexico in 1848. Sue Payne explains that what she heard exposes how they plan to do it. What became clear is that once these illegals come out of the shadows, so to speak, their communities that they're living in now are going to be redesignated as receiving communities. And what this task force is designed to do is to create a welcoming feeling among these receiving communities to bring in these immigrants, bring them out in the open, but the receiving communities will then soon morph into what was established an, an emerging immigrant community. And to do that, what they said was that we need to start looking at the immigrant as a seedling. Hmm, seedlings, huh? Setting aside the fact that it sounds like a beginning classification in Castro's Young Pioneers, the more appropriate context is that those seedlings and the Obama administration are playing us for saps. They have meticulously planned a program to sap our sovereignty, our culture, and our tax dollars for something decidedly un-American. Well, eventually the seedlings will take over the host, and the immigrants will come out of the shadows, and what I got from the meetings was they would be pushing the citizens into the shadows. They would be taking over the country. In fact, one of the members of the task force actually said that we would be developing a country within a country. A country within a country? So much for one nation indivisible. No, no. This accelerated amnesty will tear this nation apart, and you and I will pay for it literally with our tax dollars. The receiving communities would be morphing into the emergent immigrant communities. And he also, there was also a couple other things that were very disturbing. One was that as soon as this decision is pushed through, these immigrants need to be treated as refugees. They need to be given cash. They need medical care. They need, they need to use the credit cards to pay for any documents that they need. And also, we need to convince state and local governments to cut these people no interest loans with taxpayer dollars so they can then pay for their papers, as if we were funding our own destruction here. Uh, yes, we are already funding our own destruction, courtesy of a spineless Senate and a hesitant House, unwilling to deprive this president of the money he wants to make this happen. Make no mistake. We cannot call the president a purse snatcher. Instead, Congress has opened our national purse to him under the guise of funding Homeland Security, which should be renamed Hellbent Insecurity. What has that Benjamin Franklin said so long ago when he was asked what type of government had he given us? He said, a republic, if you can keep it. Here's the problem. This president is saying, to hell with the Constitution, to hell with the Constitution, uh, with the Congress and the courts, and to hell with the rule of law. He's moving forward. Amnesty straight ahead. You've been warned. That's the way I see it.